today I'm going to be tying Nancy's prayer. It's a caddis uh, emerging imitation made by um, a guy here in Maine for the West Branch, which has prolific caddis hatches. So here I have a size 16 regular dry fly hook. If you want it to sink a little more, you can use a wet fly hook, but I, I don't really, I don't care for that. I like this to be in the film of the water. Um, so all I'm doing is just putting on gray squirrel dubbing. This body is going to be kind of gray. Um, so this is a gray squirrel dubbing, and I'm going to show you guys two variations today. And the first one is just probably the most basic version. And I like it to be really buggy. This is the sort of original pattern. I like it to be really buggy because it's an emerger pattern. So you don't want it to be clean like a dry. You want it to be really buggy. So there. There's the body. Pretty straightforward but very, very buggy looking. And what I'll do is if it's too kind of crazy, I'll just come in and trim some long fibers if it's too crazy but you want it to be rough. So that looks pretty good. Next, you're gonna tie in the back, and the back of the wing calls for a mallard um, breast feather. And the West Branch caddis, I find, are a little darker on the back, so I'm using a mallard that's a little bit darker. Um, here's just a bunch of mallards. So you can pick yours to match your local sort of hatch color, if it's a lighter brown, if it's black, if it's darker, whatever. Um, so what I've done is I've laid two on top of each other and I have slid them across the wax. So I just pinch it down and just slide it across my wax. That just helps them keep, keep together. Um, and what I do is I'm going to lay them down a little longer than the body. So I lay it down just a little bit longer than the body and cinch them down two or three times. And then keeping it on top, I'm just going to pull it forward a little bit so that the tip of the wing is just beyond just beyond the hook so right there is about good it's just a flat sort of v-shaped wing kind of a husk looking thing and then I'll just tie it in moving backwards trim the front as close as you can and now the uh, thorax, I'm going to add gray squirrel dumbing again. Again, I want it to be rather bulky because it's an emerger, not a dry. Um, most people will swing this sort of like a wet fly, but you definitely could tie a dry fly form and there are plenty out there. So once that's done, I sort of just pull it back pull it back and I start to make the head. And I want the head to be sort of pronounced. There we go, that's not bad. And then I'm gonna whip finish and that's it. That's the, the most basic form. Um, it's a killer pattern on the West Branch. And pretty much anywhere there's emerging caddis, um, this pattern does pretty well. And this is the most basic form. I'm gonna show you a variation. Um, in this next step but there we go that's the top of it you see and that's the bottom so just a nice little caddis emerger nancy's prayer so continuing with nancy's prayer here's a variation i have some polypropylene here and i'm just going to tie that in on top going all the way back right to the bend of the hook. And what I'm gonna do is loop it a little bit. Just make a small loop. So you have a little loop at the end. And tie it in. You kinda wanna tie it in on both sides. Um, on the left and the right. So that the loop stays more of a loop for a longer period of time. But. But I don't think that the fish care, so... If 
the fish don't care, I typically don't care either. Alright, so then just trim off your excess. And there we have our nice loop there towards the back. Now the variation, everything else is the same. Just that loop towards the back. So I'm going to take some wax here, wax up my thread, put on that gray squirrel, which I just made. If you want to see how to make dubbing, you can check out my video on do-it-yourself tutorials. So, wrap our body up. Again, I want this to be super buggy because it's it's a uh, it's an emerger pattern. So, and that looks not bad. Probably add a little more. I'm gonna make this abdomen a little bit longer than my last one. Just a little bit. That's not bad. All right, here we go. Pretty buggy. Again, if you don't like it to be crazy, crazy buggy, you can sort of trim it down a little bit. Um, so now we're ready to add our wing, and here I've selected, I'll show you how to do the wing process, I suppose. I've selected a few mallard feathers. All you do is line them up, grab the tips, and then pull the fibers back to make them even on both feathers. This way you have even amount of fibers on both. So there we go, that's what it starts out as. And then, like I did last time, just drop them right on the wax and just pull it tight and it makes this nice, nice and easy material to work with. Now, these wings, I want them to go as far as the shuck. So I want it to go right to there so that the tip of the wing goes to the back of the shuck. And there we go. So there's our wing case, shucks right underneath the tip. Everything is good, wings are locked into place. Give those a snip and then again, I'm gonna add some wax, build up that head, or the thorax, I guess. And remember, I can't really stress enough that the buggier the better, so I'm not just saying this because of the way I like how it looks, I'm saying it because it catches more fish. I would use this pattern early in the morning and late in the evenings or whenever there's a big caddis hatch going on. Because when you get it wet, it really does look like a case, like a about to be shucked or just recently shucked case and fish will slurp it down whether you swing it like a wet fly or lay it on this lay it on the film of the water and I'm gonna just drop a little bit of super glue on this head and there you go that's Nancy's prayer super super simple pattern super super effective hope you guys liked it leave a comment below if you have any questions if you want to check us out for more fishy business, you can check out our Instagram at Flying. Thanks for watching. See you next time.